What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? How you feeling? Shout out some of y'all favorite auntie, some of y'all right. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, what is the deal? How are y'all doing? I mean, how are y'all really feeling? Let me tell y'all something. I had a wonderful time in Vegas. Oh my God. Me and the girls had a ball. Like, we literally had a ball. We had a little bullshit. Don't get me wrong. It was only one little episode of bullshit. But everybody came out of that shit alive and straight. So it really don't matter. Because you know what? This whole weekend, I was like, I really had to eat some shit that I would have never let slide a day in my life. You know what I'm saying? A bitch would have never got a chance to put her hands on me and I wouldn't have did shit. But you know, I had to make sure my pool mafia got home. One thing about me, I know I'm a fighter. The streets know that. I don't got shit to prove. When you in a situation and you gotta look out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoop, bam, people, sometimes you just gotta eat some shit. Because it would have got ugly for us. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't even about proving shit. It's just about getting home. I keep telling y'all that. Everybody know I ain't scary. Everybody know what it is. But when you're in a different state, people move different. They get out different. So you got to do what you got to do to get home. You know what I'm talking about? And that's just real talk. And then for me to get home, take me a nap, like really go to sleep. I wake up at 5 in the morning. They like, you know, Whoopi Whoop got killed Friday. You know, Whoopi Whoop got killed Saturday. You know, so-and-so fighting for her life. You know, Whoopi Whoop just got killed last night. So it's like, damn, three friends gone. And yet, I'm tripping up out of bitch taking off on me. I ain't got nothing to trip off of because I made sure every lady I came with got home. And now I got three friends never coming home get what I'm saying see sometimes we be so caught up in our own shit we be thinking it's the worst thing that could ever happen to us cause the whole time I been thinking I ain't never let nothing like this happen I ain't never I ain't, you understand I ain't never a day in my life you get what I'm saying cause I was what <laughs> you feel me but then look what I come home to I got three friends that ain't never gonna see the light of day. So when I tell y'all stories, I would appreciate it if you laugh, cry, and get the lesson. The lesson is to make it home. I keep telling y'all. Do not take it for granted some of y'all mad because y'all man don't like to go out he don't want to be in the club and you want to party man look man sometimes appreciate that man that don't like to go nowhere don't want to be too busy in the street they barely can go to work and make it home and here you go you got a man with your baby and he trying, but he ain't really active. Let that man chill. Let him chill. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all can work a date night, a little restaurant. It ain't got to be ratchet life. Y'all can do something. Work with him. Fellas, work with her. If she want to go out, take her on a little date night. Nice little lounge, grown up style. Don't take her to no ratchet shit where everybody go, you know, the rappers be. Man, look. You know what I'm talking about? Ladies, stop going to the gas station at night. Get y'all gas early in the morning when everybody at the gas station. Not late at night, fill y'all tank up. So you ain't gotta stop. It's just that serious. My homegirl ain't never going home to her kids. Never. Everybody want to be hard nowadays. Everybody want to be 
they just want, you know, everybody is super whatever. I ain't the one, I ain't the two. Everybody is hard. You know what I'm talking about? So we living in a world where everybody feeling like they got to prove something, man. Like, come on, man. Like, this world wicked. This world wicked right now. So you got to really, like, understand your surroundings and what's going on. Sometimes your reaction can cause your death. I knew if I would have reacted to what went on, it would have went way worse. Me putting myself in a situation is one thing. But me putting everybody else in a situation, that's a whole nother thing. See, I've grown to know enough to think like this. It ain't about being scary because they already know that's not what it is. But when you outnumbered and people got pistols on you, knives, all kind of shit, what are you supposed to do? Get what I'm saying? You got men and women ready to fight us. Girls got on heels. Motherfuckers got on see-through outfits. Motherfuckers is cute. Didn't come for that. But see, when motherfuckers' temperatures is already on a honey, sometimes you got to eat some shit to make it home. <clears throat> they never know what might happen in their life. They might have a car accident. They might find out they sick. Anything can happen. Because you're just fucking with people. So I'm going to let God handle that. I'm straight. I got all my ladies home. Just to realize, I know I'm really growing as a person. Because <laughs> I just lost three friends. Get what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, look. Star would appreciate waking up and living a day to try it again. That's all I can say. Because at the end of the day, we all want the money. We all want the lifestyle. We all want the cars. We all want what we want. But unfortunately, we got to work to a certain status to get it. And then you're going to have to move away from people. Because unfortunately, it's always somebody who didn't want to work. they rather take. You know? It's always somebody with a chip on their shoulder. No matter what. You know, women, it's hard out here for us right now. Yeah, we barely can go to the gas station. Barely can go to the store without a motherfucker being rude. It's like, it's just how it is. Like, we living in a world where women is like becoming straight slaves. And then men, there's so much competition within each other. They barely can do shit. They barely could wear they chain. They barely can. There's always somebody out here thirsty. Old ladies can't wear their jewelry in L.A. Everybody shit gets snatched. Nobody care who you is. It just goes like that. The world is fucked up, you know? So you got to do what you got to do to make your situation better. So you don't be caught up in that bullshit. You got to stop fucking with certain people. Stop letting people know what you got. Don't even let them know the ideas you got. Just do it. Don't tell a soul. Pull a motherfucker and start clocking your money. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> Look. I don't know why my mind told me to get on here. Because I was going to do our video. Of the story. But. I don't know. Some made me talk about this. And probably because it was just on my brain. But I don't know me who need to hear it. But you got to forgive whoever did you wrong. I know you don't want to. I know they hurt you. I know they didn't protect you. 
I know they didn't look out for you. I know they was not the person you needed them to be. And I know you went through a lot. And I know it hurts you. And I know you're still mad. And you have every right to be. But just let me tell you this. You're still here. You can change your mindset. You can change how you feel. You don't have to forget it. But in order for you to live, you're going to have to let it go. Nobody said you have to forget. But if you keep holding on to things that happen, you're never really going to be able to live and trust and really live a life. And I just want you to be able to know that even though life started off hard, it can't get easier. And don't never let nobody tell you or make you think it can't. You definitely can change your, sur your surroundings. If you want something abusive, get out of it. If you gotta lose everything, your life is more important. If your parents did you wrong, just forgive them. And that's for you. It's not for them. It's to take some of that pain off your heart and release some of that pressure. But just understand, sometimes parents, man, they only do what was done to them. You know? And you gotta remember just because somebody your parent don't mean like they came equipped being a parent doesn't come with automatic knowledge it just doesn't and it doesn't come with automatic love sometimes because how can I love you if nobody ever loved me how can I protect you if nobody ever protected me and if everything went wrong in your parent life and somebody just told them to get over it and oh well and brushed it under the rug. It wouldn't really be no good to you. So unfortunately you had to go through it in order to learn what not to do. So when you have your kids you can become a way better person. I'm just saying it's not right. It's no excuse. But the bottom line is, the way the world works, it don't really change. But it is good people out here. It is solid people out here. Sometimes they're just not family. You know, and y'all got to stop staying in situations longer than y'all should. Stop waiting on somebody to change. Person don't change, they don't really care about you. Get up out of it. It's not worth it. Life is about living, not existing. You know? So I say take any trip you want to take. Do anything you want to do. And actually live your life. Give it to God and let it go. It's just real. No matter what nobody say about you, no, no matter what nobody think about you at the end of the day, people gonna say and think and do what they want to do, you know? A girl probably think of her brain, oh, I got her. She's scary. We know that ain't true. You get what I'm saying? She could think whatever she want to think. Because at the end of the day, I know what it is. It's just that simple. But karma always come back on. That motherfucker always hit. So you ain't even gotta worry about doing nothing to nobody who has wrong with you. It's gonna happen. You know? Trust me. Look, I 
I love y'all. I'm about to give y'all y'all story on this next video. I just had to get that off my chest. Somebody needs to hear it. Fuck with who fuck with you. Leave out the people you can't get nothing from, can't ask for help, can't be there for you. You have a right to be selfish with your life. And you have a right to be selfish about the things that you want. And how you want to be treated. That's all. We only get one life. Live it to the fullest.